company conducts an attack from north to south. They were struck by mortars with a suspected chemical payload. The higher command now ordered the Italian CBN reconnaissance team on the spot to identify and confirm whether there is a chemical agent. The Italian reconnaissance vehicle is attached to the tank company and is moving with the uh, company's deputy commander special asset team. They are around two kilometers moving behind the front line. The tank is doing this particular procedure twice. One time when the suspected contamination begins and also when it, the suspected contamination ends. You will bring the salt to the ground, it is heated, it brings the chemical agent to the gas phase and it is identified via computer system inside of the vehicle. As the tank moves to the second position, also the second half of you will see how this procedure works. Now, the soldier with the detection device is getting closer to the spot marked by the Italian reconnaissance team. Detecting soldier now puts a small piece inside of this flag telling which which agent they identified and also the coordinates of this block. The advantage of this small unsupported vehicle definitely is the flexibility to move inside of the area of operation because it's not as big as a reconnaissance tank. They now have marked the borders of the contamination 
and they will leave the scene to go to the decon site. After that, they return to the command post to the assembly area where they can be uh, tasked for new missions. part we have two line of showers on each line we have seven showers the first line of showers are with a decon solution they will stay there approximately two to three minutes after that they will go to the second line of showers we, uh, in that we have only water so uh, it can rinse the decontamination solution out of them uh, at the second line of showers, 
also they will wait between two and three minutes. We have a soldier that uh, will uh, determine if the personnel is still contaminated or not. If they are still contaminated, they will go again to the showers and retake the whole uh, decontamination process. If they are not contaminated, in that part they will take the underwear. After that, they will uh, go down uh, the ladder in the last tent. So here they can take the clean equipment, uh, vest and helmet. And after that, they put on the equipment. They will have to go all the way to the assembly area. Okay, so that concludes my uh, personal decon side. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.